In my last couple of videos, we worked with simple interest, and today we're going to shift gears to compound interest. Now, simple interest, if you recall, the interest was only calculated off the principal. Compound changes that because not only do you earn interest off of the um, principal, but you also earn interest off of any previously earned interest. Now, in order to do that, um, what the uh, what has to be done is is the interest is calculated at a set time period, and that's we say it's compounded. You know, annually would mean that they com they uh, calculate the interest once a year and put it back into the account. They do it again. Um, compounded monthly would be every month they uh, calculate the interest, they put it in so that you earn interest on top of your interest. We are going to stick with compounded annually um, for this video. So the uh, formula is a little easier when it's compounded annually. The formula for compound interest compounded annually is A equals P times 1 plus R to the T power. All right. Now, if you recall, with simple interest, we were calculating just the interest. With compound interest, A is equal to the amount or the total. So it's the principal plus the interest on top of itself. So if somebody asks you, hey, I need the interest for this, you would take your amount and subtract the principal to get your just the interest that you earned. All right, again, P is equal to principal. R is equal to rate, which again needs to be in decimal form. And then T, we're calling it time. Uh, it's also the term. Term and time are, are uh, interchangeable here, but again, in years. So now let's practice. All right, say we have a $200 deposit that we keep in an account that's making 7% interest and we keep it in there for five years. All right, so write down our formula. A equals P times 1 plus R to the T. Plug in our goods. A equals 200 times 1 plus 0 0.07 to the fifth power because if you recall um, it's a percentage, so we move the decimal two places to the left to get the decimal. Right? And if we throw that in the calculator nice and easy, our amount comes out to be $280.51. So that's how much would be in our account, which means we would make, because we put $200 in, we made $80.51 in interest. All right, let's do another one. Uh, let's do $1,500. 3% for 10 years. So again, write the formula. A equals P times 1 plus R to the T power. A equals 1,500 times 1 plus 0 0.03 to the 10th power. A is equal to $2,015.87, which means we made five hundred fifteen dollars and eighty seven cents in interest not bad for doing nothing right let's do one final example and then we'll end this video thousand dollars at zero point two percent for three years the reason I picked this percentage is because that's a realistic percent to get in a savings account right now all right, so A equals P times 1 plus R to the T power. A equals 1,000 times 1 plus 0 0.002 to the third power. And our amount comes out to be $1,006.01. So we made $6.01 in interest. Again, that is much more realistic to what you would make in a savings account right now. Well, that's compound interest.